Hello and welcome to another edition of our C-Sharp class. We're in the middle of a recursion unit and we are looking today at a game that is, uh, we're going to call it Candy Crush. It's uh, just called Recursion Game. And the way it works is we're going to demonstrate the flood fill um, recursion program or the uh, algorithm. So the way the board works and the way the game works is that we're supposed to fill the entire grid of cells with one color. And so if I were to select a color such as red from the uh, palette here and then click any square out here, like I'm going to pick these uh, group of orange buttons, you notice it fills up around what was orange and now it's all red. So let's, let's pick another one. I'm going to pick yellow this time and select the same button. And so now you can see yellow is filled. Let's uh, try some more. Let's try the next one, orange. And so we're growing. So let's go to green next. Let's try light blue. And so as we select, the area is growing in my pattern that I'm trying to match. So it's, um, it's demonstrating flood fill. That's really what we're supposed to do in this app. So I'm going to go through this app and show you how to build it. It's, uh, it's a little bit like Minesweeper as far as having a grid and buttons. I guess the most common thing this is between Minesweeper and this program is that they both use the flood fill algorithm. So flood fill takes a region and fills it up until it comes to an edge. And so you can see that I'm eventually going to fill the entire space. So let's get started on the programming here and we'll see how flood fill works. <laughs> 